How's it going? Connor here from Train Like a Warrior and on today's workout video you and I are going to be working out alongside each other with this total body lean muscle building workout that you can perform at home with one dumbbell, a power dumbbell, a kettlebell, literally anything you can come up with for resistance, a backpack filled up, even a few water bottles. Try to get creative to add some sort of resistance so you complete this session. This is going to be a total body lean muscle building workout. We're going to focus on strength, better conditioning to really help shape off and build up your physique. This workout is going to consist of 10 of the best exercises to really help you do so. We're going to perform three sets as always for each exercise as we're focusing on strength and muscle building. 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Focus on good solid form and bring the intensity if your weight is a wee bit light, okay? As always, you and I are going to be working out alongside each other, so I really want you to push yourself. Before we get into the workout, please be sure to leave this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment below after you complete the workout. Let me know how you get on with the session. And as always, if you haven't already, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. It's free so we can keep on pushing forward with these workouts and take them to the next level. Let's smash this session together. Okay team, before I set the timer, I'm gonna showcase the first exercise, which is a dumbbell squat with a press. Now again, this can be performed with any weight that you're using, or your water bottles, or one dumbbell, one kettlebell, whatever it is. You're squatting down, and then on the way up, you're pressing. Okay, it's a good, functional, explosive exercise. And we're gonna do three sets, okay? As I said, we're gonna target the whole body. This is gonna be one of the best at home, total body, muscle building, and toning workouts you're ever gonna perform. Right, we're gonna five seconds, so let's get ready. We're doing this together. <clears throat> three, two, one, where we go. Squat down and press. This is a total body movement here. Lower body and upper body working together. You can still do this with one dumbbell if you have it. Come on, a few seconds. Good part. One down, two to go. The feedback of these uh, strength sessions is brilliant. I absolutely love to perform them. As I said before, there's very little strength workouts on YouTube like this here in real time. And I know that's why so many of you are getting stronger by adding these workouts in. Let's keep the momentum. Down, up. Press. Ah, feel it in this upper body. Again, if the dumbbells is too heavy, you can even drop down to one. Ah, feel this. Come on, a few more reps. Any athletes performing this workout, that is a brilliant explosive exercise to add into your routine. You're getting that lower and the upper working together, training the body as the unit. Ah. Let's get ready to go again. Hey right, team, third and final set of these. Up and press. Upper body is Two more reps, come on. Nicely done. Right, the next one is going to be our dumbbell pullover to target the back. That's the one where we're lying down. The dumbbell comes up over the head. If any of you have been trained in the gym, you could have done this exercise before on a bench. But to be honest, ever since I've been adding this into the routine, on the ground, I absolutely love it. We have to go slow and controlled, get that good stretch, 
and you should feel it right up the mid portion of the back. Okay, focus on the squeeze. If this is too heavy or too awkward, or you're not feeling it, do your dumbbell row. Okay. Really focusing on the squeeze and the contraction. Oh. Good. One down, two to go. Let's keep on pushing forward. Get your breath back and get ready. Good. Smash out some solid reps. Okay? There we go again. Let's pull over. Coming down so throw. And then back up again. Slowly coming down. And back up. Feeling this one, honestly. That mid portion, even upper portion of the back. Ooh. Like, there's certain movements where, like, a mind muscle connection is really good, especially if your weight is a bit lighter. So, what I mean by mind muscle connection is you're slowly coming down and you're focusing on targeting that muscle grip. So, the back, you're focusing on squeezing and engaging that muscle grip. That's why. Sometimes it doesn't matter how heavy the weight is, even if you're going light, it's really focusing on the squeeze and the contraction. That's a different way to overload your body. And that can be done with body weight training also. That's the last set of these, and then we're moving on. Nicely done. Right, the next one is a pulse reverse lunge. So, two dumbbells, and we're just doing the pulse. One, two, up. One, two, up. Okay, that's the next one. Right, two, let's get it. One, two, up. One, two, let's go. One, two. That wee pulse rep is crucial, it just adds that wee bit of extra overload. <sighs> so keep pushing with 10 seconds remaining. <sighs> Feeling it? <sighs> Come on. <sighs> nice. Grab quick time here. Doing brilliant. And it's great to see uh, so many people enjoying the different types of workouts. So we have the high intensity, we have the strength training, the core, the body weight strength, combining it all together. Instead of just being stuck in the one mindset, we're embracing it all. That's what Train Like a Warrior is all about. And I'm just so grateful that so many people are realizing the power of this training. Woo! A <clears throat> pulse is always a killer for any exercise. If you want to make it harder, you add in the pulse. Ah, come on. Good. One more of these, and then we're moving on. Good work. Let's keep on pushing. A few more seconds of recovery, and then we're going into it. Right, let's go again. Keep 
man. Let's keep pushing. 10 seconds. Try to get an extra few reps. Nicely done. Okay, the next one is a dumbbell close press. So, holding the dumbbells close together and pressing up so you're targeting the chest and the triceps. But I want us to do it in like your uh, elevated position like that. So like, <clears throat> right, let's go. So you're up in like a high thrust position and you're going, okay? Just means you're getting the lower body and the upper body working together. Just try to keep them up and press in like that. Close dumbbell press. Again, if you only have one dumbbell or a kettlebell, just press it up. Okay. Keep pressing. Good. One down, two go. Okay, work team, smashing this session. Right, get ready for the second set of these close grip. Elevate the presses. Keep it going team, every grab count. Feel this in the back of the arms, especially. Good, one more set of them. And then one more exercise, that's round one complete, and then we're gonna move on to the next round. Right. If your weight is too light, bring the intensity, grab it out. If it's a bit heavier, slow it down so it's some good form. Ah, come on. And again, if you had like a mixture of dumbbells, you can always switch between heavier and lighter weights. But as you see me, just using the same weight throughout, I'm just trying to bring the intensity where I need it. Feeling this in the back of the arms. Elbows tucked in close. Pressing up. <sighs> nice. Right team, the last exercise is in cross body hammer curls, okay? Cross over like that, if you have the two dumbbells. If you're using one dumbbell or a kettlebell, hold it in close and just curl with one weight, okay? There's no excuses once it comes to this training. No matter what equipment you have, you can still do it. So I'm going to cross the body. As I said, if you've only the one dumbbell, it doesn't matter, you can still curve. Keep that squeeze. Feel the burn in the lap. Ah. About 10 seconds remaining on the clock. Let's go. Every rep. Five seconds. Good work, team. Woo! Working out, you feel so much better whenever you get a good session. It's so good, not just physically, but for the head. Right, let's get it. That's a brutal exercise out there. Squeeze. Ah, 
Come on. Wait, 10 seconds. One more set. Get ready. One more set, then we're gonna grab another drink and get ready for round number two. Five different exercises, three sets. Woo! Right, let's go. That 20 second rest is literally nothing. As I say, it's strength and it's high intensity all combined together. A few more reps, come on. Keep it going. There it is team, round number one complete. Quick drink and get ready for round number two. Okay team, moving on, round number two. Before I set the timer, of course that shows it's going to be a three point goblet squat. Close, normal, sumo, back. Okay, so we're doing three points. Close, normal, wide, sumo stance. Okay, three sets of that, 10 second countdown. Let's go. <clears throat> one in, three, two, one. In, out. Out wider. So back down again. In. Normal. Wide. Just continue. If the one dumbbell is too light, double it up. You know yourself. Oh, I'm feeling this one. Seriously, such a killer exercise. It might not look hard until you go to perform it. And it's a different story. And even holding the weight, the upper body's engaged. Oh, come on. A few more reps. Grab another drink, one more set of these, and then we're moving on. Legs are on fire. Come on. Right, where are we going again? Last set of these. In. Shoulder press, okay? So if you're only using one dumbbell, 
just up over the head like that, but if you're using the two, I want you to go up with one, down, up with the other, alternate. Okay, alternate, press, and that's only if you get the two. Right? Killer. So the tension is on all the time with this one. <clears throat> Older knee presses. About five seconds left, get our few reps. You see me in pain every single workout here. As real as it gets, there's no faking with us here. Like, I'm not wasting my time because I want to do proper workouts that's going to help me progress as well as yourself. That's the whole point of this. So much point of me doing workouts where you don't even see me struggle. And then it pushes you on even more. And if you ever want to perform a different workout, you would soon realize then just how you know, better and stronger you've got by following these sessions. Like literally the results coming out of these workouts for about 20, 30 minutes a day. Insane. My shoulders are burning here. Come on, a few more seconds. I'm sweating. And that's another key point. So many people overlook the power of strength training. Now we're doing this high intensity, right? But we are focusing on good strength workout. Instead of just the typical cardio workouts, you know, where you think you're sweating, and you think you're losing body fat, you're doing this here. This strength workout, it's high intensity. You're sweating, you're building muscle, you're losing body fat, you're getting fitter, you're getting stronger. And then you combine that with the hip workouts on the channel and the body weight strength training, and you're just gonna turn into an absolute machine. People being able to perform push-ups, they couldn't even perform one. That still blows my mind. <clears throat> I need to take a few seconds. Right, come on. Get a few more reps. Come on. Ah. Woo. Right, what is the next one? Underhand row, okay? That's the one over. Coming down, doing an underhand dumbbell row. <sighs> That's the next exercise. Okay. Right, underhand row. Again, you can do this with one dumbbell. Now this is a good exercise also for your biceps. Your back and your biceps. Keep it going. You can do this with one dumbbell, a kettlebell, whatever you're using. Come on, a few more seconds. Again, if your weight's a bit lighter, keep that squeeze for a wee bit longer at the top. My body's feeling this one. A few more. Let's go. <clears throat> right, team, we'll let go again. One more set then. Now as you see, you see me struggling, 
you see me not being able to last the whole time frame, that's okay. As I said, we're focusing on pushing out the reps. So if you only get to eight reps, then you need a rest, do it. And then if you think you can go again, go for it. Ooh. Oh, let's go. Right, I'm struggling massively here and you see it. And if so, don't be afraid to drop down, even the one dumbbell, and keep it going, because that's what I'm gonna do. Because I literally can't lift the two of them. My back's completely fatigued. <sighs> even this is tough. <sighs> 10 seconds. Okay team, what we're going to do next is a close grip push up, right? So if you have the two dumbbells, bring them close together. Okay, so we're going to work some of the inner chest and triceps. If not, just do your normal push up variation. Or what you can do, if you don't want to do the push up, is the overhead tricep extension. So you have the dumbbell and you're going up over your head. Okay? See the way the dumbbells turn inwards, that's targeting a wee bit more triceps. Come on! A few more seconds. One down, two to go, and then we have only one more exercise. Keep them man. Doing absolutely right. Right, we go again. Again, you can even do these on your knees. It's not easy, but that's what it takes. Keep on pushing our bodies. One more of these. Let's get it. Let's finish strong with these push ups or whatever variation you're doing. And then have a killer exercise to finish. Okay. Right team, let's get it. Right team, the last one, okay? It's called a devil press. So it's a burpee with a press up over the head. So you're burping down, okay? If you're using the two dumbbells, you're going down, and then you're going up, like that. Back down again, okay? And then up. If you're only using the one dumbbell, do one burpee, and then come up and raise it above the head. So you're coming down, and up. Back down. So it's like a jump in and out, and then up. Down, in, up. Pop. Use it up on a minute. At the end, you can do it with one dumbbell. That's what we have. If you really want to push yourself, 
You can do that by push up. But I am wrecked. This session is taking it out of me. <sighs> Love it though. Woo! Let's go. We're nearly there. Embrace that pain. Let's go. Take the results if you're already here. Wait, 10 seconds. Come on. More rep. I feel that everywhere. Legs, upper body, glutes, core, arms, sweat. Woo. Right team, this is it, the final set. Let's give it all together. Right, come on. Keep it pushing. Come on, a few more reps. Come on, get on. One more to finish. So team there it is, truly one of the most effective total body at home muscle building and strength and conditioning workouts you will ever perform. In my opinion that was one of the toughest strength workouts we have ever done yet, plus I never sweated as much doing so, you're combining that high intensity, you're combining the strength work all together to truly create maximum results. So team please be sure to leave this workout video a thumbs up, leave a comment below, let me know how you got on with the workout because I absolutely love to hear your feedback. Also, please be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Really helps me out so I can grow this channel and keep up with these free workout videos to truly help you. As always, tag me in your Instagram stories. I absolutely love to see who is working out alongside with me and who is in, a, in as much pain as I am. As you can see, I'm still sweating, struggling to get the breath back, but I want to show you how real this is so we can keep on pushing forward together. As always, keep up the hard work and I'll see you in the next one.